Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to run random forest analysis in RapidMiner. So, random forest or random decision forest is an ensemble learning method for classification regression. Another task that operates by constructing a multitude of decision tree at training time. It is a machine learning algorithm that is used widely in classification and regression problem. It builds a decision tree on different samples and takes their majority vote for classification and average in case of regression. Let us try to understand this concept in the next slide. In decision tree, we are using only one decision tree. So it is it may be possible that when you run this algorithm second time or third time, you may get different results. So, so to come on the consensus, a concept was floated that why don't we run this single decision tree multiple times. So after running multiple times, now this uh, possibility number of trees may be 500 or uh, 1000 trees. This concept is known as random forest. Basically, random forest is a collection of many decision trees. Now, as we are using many decision trees, the, the output will be different from all this. So how to come on the common consensus? For this, say for example, the first decision tree is giving the output as result 1, result 2, result n. So a decision is taken either by majority voting or averaging. So that is a whole concept of running random forest. Now let us see how we can run this in rapid minor. First of all, we will activate the data set heart 1 from here. I'll drag it and drop it. I'll connect this spline with the result window. I'll press this play button. Now you can see here age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting BS, resting e ECG, max HR, exercise, yes or no, old pig, ST slow. These are all the attributes. Now our problem is a classification problem. That is the heart disease. A patient is having a heart disease or not, yes or no. We want to classify the target variable heart disease on the basis of these attributes. Now we will come on this design window again and I will activate the operator which is select the attribute operator. I simply drag it and drop it in between this spline. Now in the original data set it may be possible that there are many attributes. Now we want to make a attribute, we want to make a model considering some attributes. It is not necessary that all the attributes which are there in the original data set are matter of my interest. So I'll activate this select attributes, I'll go in the subsetting and I'll only select those attributes which are matter of my interest. So I'll consider age, cholesterol, fasting BS, heart disease, old peak and resting blood pressure. I'll transfer it here. Apply. Now, I will activate set role operator. I'll simply drag it and drop it here. Random forest falls in the category of supervised learning technique. Basically, in supervised learning technique, we have to specify our target variable, also known as dependent variable. I'll go here and activate the heart disease. Make sure that the target rule is to be specified as label. Then only the algorithm will run. The next thing which I have to do is I will have to activate the random forest algorithm. I'll go in the operator window and activate the random forest. I'll drag it and drop it here. I'll press the play button from here. Now you can see here. At present, our analysis will run on 100 trees. Basically, these are 100 decision trees. And the criterion of the selection can be the gain ratio, the information gain, gain index, and the maximum de depth which we have specified is 10. I'll run the analysis. And you can see the output of 100 trees which will be displayed here. 1, 
two, three, four, and each three will have a different result. We can zoom in or zoom out to see the result. And these are your decision rules for each tree. Now it is very difficult to interpret for 100 trees and therefore we will be using the performance operator for this purpose. This I will be discussing in my next video. For more videos on Rapid Miner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of Rapid Miner. Please don't forget to press the like button. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter also.